is a sort of illness that cannot be cured, but it can be managed, it can be treated, and people can live long with diabetes. But then we need to know how it happens. First of all, I will first of all I will try as much as possible to make sure I don't use too much medical words, simple words, so that we can understand it better. It is a very complicating topic for me, but we will try as much as possible to deal with it. We, I will first of all describe how insulin or how diabetes, how it operates. Now, in our body, we have a gland, which is pancreas. This pancreas is located at the back of our stomach. And what happens is, in this pancreas, it has um, sort of, um, it's got, um, I'll say, um, it went over. It's got, um, it produces uh, insulin. So that is the job of the pancreas. But it's got this insulin. When it produces it, like let's start like when you eat, your food digests. And what happens is it gets absorbed into the blood. Now, this pancreas has cells in them. These cells produce insulin. Now, insulin is produced, is um, sort of produced into the blood. And what it does is it brings out the glucose from the blood. That is what it does. After going into the blood, it brings out the glucose. This glucose is also sugar. And now, when it brings it out, it breaks it down. When it's broken down, it gives us energy. Is it simple enough like that? Yes. Pancreas, what it does is it causes cells. The cells produce insulin. When we eat, the food we eat digests, and then it absorbs in our blood. The insulin is released into the blood. When it's released, it pushes out the um, glucose, which is the sugar. The, the glucose breaks down and gives us energy. Now, that is how it operates. Diabetes now is a long-term condition that makes the blood sugar level in our blood to go too high. So it, that means you go hypo when it's low and you go hyper when it is very high. Now, we have in, um, in the world now, about 90% of people that are diagnosed of diabetes are type 2, which means we have two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is only about 10% of people that are diagnosed of type 1. Type 2, about 90%. Okay, now let's talk about type 1. Type 1, this is how it happens. The immune system in our body, it attacks the pancreas, which means the cells in the pancreas. When it attacks it, it destroys it, kills it. That means it will not produce insulin. Is it very straightforward? Yes. It will not produce insulin because it's been attacked, it's been destroyed, it's not going to work. So that means insulin is not produced into the blood to take out the glucose, to break it down, and to give us energy. So that is type 1, straightforward. Now, the reason why it's only 10% is that it is very rare. The one that is common is the type 2. The type 1, it's not common among the people with that. It is only 10%. The insulin is not produced. That means the body has to really rely on insulin. The body is not producing it, we have to provide it. So you see people with insulin, it, they have to be given insulin for the body to operate, to work well and to be functioning. So that is type 1. It's not common, only people with type 1 takes insulin. Now, going to type 2. Type 2, it's not like that the body is not producing insulin, but it is not producing enough for it to bring out the glucose, to break it down, to now turn it into energy. The body is still producing, but not enough. So definitely, 
It doesn't have to be insulin to control it. There are other things can be done. So I think that is straight in, uh, forward enough. Now, for the in, um, many about millions of people are diagnosed of type two. Also, with um, diabetes, I'll also say millions of people are diagnosed with diabetes. Also, thousands are still in the world that are not diagnosed yet. Because, probably, because the symptoms, they could not understand what the symptoms are. They don't know what the symptoms are and they got it. I'm saying, I'm talking about thousands, and when I'm talking about thousands, it's just like hypertension. Many people walk on the streets and they are really, they, I mean, their blood pressure is really high, but they never know, not until things happen, they go to the doctor, they check their blood pressure, they realize they're hypertensive. That is same as um, diabetes. And diabetes, it cannot be cured, like I said. It can be managed and it can be treated. People live long with it, but then, because of ignorance, people just think, well, one thing will be the thing that will kill us. I'm not going to be bothered. But we need to be very careful. So that is with, that, um, with how it works. Thousands are still undiagnosed. So now, for those people who have got it, that are among the thousands, what I believe is with the little we're going to learn today, that might help us to know what to do, to either know whether we've got it or whether we haven't got it. I always say to people, especially with we women, during a, a menstrual period, we lose lots of blood. And when you lose blood, you're likely to lose your HP, which is the hemoglobin. So what happens is, you might wake up one morning, you want to get off the blood and you feel dizzy. That means your iron level is very, very low. So it is always good. When you bleed a lot during your menstrual cycle, you make sure afterwards you take iron tablet. You, can, you may not decide to sort of prescribe it for yourself. You can go and see your GP. They will definitely say to you, you really need it. When you take it two weeks after your period, then you stop it two weeks before. Because when you're in your cycle and you're taking it, you bleed more. So it is very important that we need to have awareness to that. There are many people that are anemic, which means their, um, their iron level is very low. They didn't know, but they still attach it to other things, thinking, oh, maybe um, I wasn't feeling well healthy and things like that. So that is a number one about it. Now, again, let me tell, can give you the instances of um, the symptoms of diabetes. At times, you see people, they get thirsty every minute. And they'll be thinking, well, with our one um, weather now, it is very hot. Definitely, the body will be demanding lots of fluid. Which means, the more you work hard, the more you sweat, your body will demand. So, that is normal. But in terms of diabetes, during winter, you can imagine, when they said, well, one, one and a half liters of water to two liters is the required amount of fluid we should have in 24 hours. And you are drinking that Ragolis water. You are drinking three in a day. In a way, you are overloading your body with fluid. That is part of the science. You are drinking more than your body can take. And with diabetes, what happens is, it's what it packs up all the organs the liver, the kidney, because the body is not producing it. What happens is, since the pancreas has, I mean, the cells in the pancreas have been attacked, it's not functioning, it's not releasing what it's supposed to release, then the heart is not getting what it needs to get, the kidney is not getting what it needs to get. Then what happens? They start packing up. And at times as well, people with diabetes, they end up with glaucoma. People cataracts, people become blind because of ignorance. That is one of it. When you notice that you're drinking more than normal, 
then it's a sign for you to know that, well, you need to find out what is happening. I always say to people, once in a year, please visit your doctor. Demand for blood test, full blood count. Tell them you want it. It doesn't cost you anything. For uh, if it don't want me, I mean, for somebody to take blood, your blood doesn't take long. Let them test it because in our body, our body is so fantastic. But I tell you, when one thing goes wrong, it affects many things. Now, some certain things, everything has level. So if it's too high, there's a problem. If it is too low, there's a problem. So it's always good to have it in a balanced way. So and how do you identify that? When you go to your doctor every year, tell them you want the full blood count. You want to know how you